everybody my name is Carol Vaya and welcome to Soul Mash. Today I'm going to teach you about premium hides, bones and all sorts. And in this video I'm going to show you how to get them so you can make bronze and iron gear and much much more. So let's get into it. So let's start with thick leather. You're moving up to bronze tier. You don't know how to get thick leather at all how to get your hands on it but all the bits need some thick leather right to be able to make thick leather in the tannery bench you're gonna need alligator skin alligator skin's a nice and simple one you can get it from well giant alligators that you can find in the rivers and streams all you need to do is defeat them and chop them up once that's done chop them up and take them back home now all you need to do is plop in the alligator skin and you can go ahead and make some straight away as long as you've got some tanning fluid which is really easy to make either way and you probably should know how to do that by now. As well as that you're going to get these carcass chunks which I highly recommend putting into this bench right here, the butcher's table because you can get more out of it. So you can see here with the alligator carcass chunks we can make more alligator skin meaning more thick leather for our bronze gear now let's say we're done with our bronze tier we're moving on to iron tier you're gonna notice for iron tier it takes premium thick leather but let's start at the basic leather right here because you're gonna notice as well the tools are gonna take premium leather now how do you get premium leather well for premium leather you're gonna have to either seek out premium beast hide premium pelt deer skin or anaconda skin but i can 100 recommend going to get anaconda skin because that is going to be the cheapest alternative in here to start with i'm going to think and you're going to get more of it than you will the rest of it easier especially if you're in places like the jungle where there is just tons of anacondas you just have to be careful they don't wrap you because they can be a bit buggy once you got the anaconda skin it's the same process you bump this into your tannery and then you can start crafting however you might need some lime and if you need lime you're gonna need an earth kiln and in there all you need to do is put some rocks in there and make lime and then you pop it in here and you make your premium leather which is absolutely brilliant there you go some premium leather but if we want to make the armor we have to take that up a notch right we need the premium thick leather which takes premium thick hide which man oh man that's a different story or is it really let's go into our butcher table to have a look so in here you're going to see premium thick hide could be made from elite alligator and premium thick hide carcass now my favorite approach here is definitely going to be the elite alligator this is because they're fairly easy to kite around and do damage to and that way you can get your hands on some premium thick hide a lot easier you could also try and take on something like the Elite Jaguars for premium carcass chunks if you want premium beast hide in general. That might be kind of useful and you can use that. But that will probably be more useful for the premium leather. But again, Anaconda Skin is the way to go. 100% on this one. But yeah, like the premium leather, the premium thick leather is going to need lime as well. So as long as you put your premium thick hide in there and combine it with the lime, you have what you want. Remember to chop it up on the butcher's table as well if you need some more stuff. So again, we can use our uh, alligator carcass chunks and we can just put them in the blender here. Make ourselves some lovely premium thick hide, which I'll let one of my tribe mates do that with a better crafting output than I. That way I get even more. There is also this other aspect when making this gear is you need premium other items uh, such as like claws for the gloves for the iron stuff. What else do we need? We need things like premium fang. We're going to need premium sharp horn and we're going to need premium shell or turtle shell. And I'll definitely say for the horns, for the fangs, and for, yes, the iron gloves, you ideally want to kill an elite and then harvest the bone pile they stand on. Especially elite jaguars to get the claws in general, then you can get the uh, white claws so you can go ahead and make what you need. Once you finish killing the elite jaguar, you'll find a bone pile on the floor and just keep spamming E on the little bones you find around. And it can give you assortments of premium bones, fangs, all sorts of sharp horns, which will be extremely useful 
for your crafting so i can recommend that you do need to take your time with the elites they can hit pretty hard just make sure you're dodging out the way when you need to but what about this whole shell thing even the bronze costume takes shell and the iron costume takes premium shell well for basic shells we're coming to the lovely beach because believe it or not crabs are probably one of the easiest ways to get shells in general so if you want to get shells here you just go and kill a couple crabs there you go then you're going to chop the crabby up here we go beautiful and that's some shells in the bag already lovely jubbly so any of these beaches can have crabs on them have at it and get some shells there for the other shell option we're going for turtle shells because that's a lot easier you can see we've got a bunch of tortoise here doing their thing and we're going to be going for them you can go for the elite tortoise if you want the better premium shell or you can go for a normal tortoise for just average tortoise shell but you can find turtles everywhere i'm not gonna lie they're absolutely everywhere along here's one of the options you can do which is easier early on so you just come along this river down here it's a big uh you know canyon you can come down into and there's turtles at the bottom of it you can also get turtles uh, i believe somewhere over this way i know they definitely spawn over right here you can see the elite uh, nests and everything over here too uh, but we're going here because this is easier south and you can find plenty of turtles that we need here now the thing with the tortoise right here is uh well they have like a mechanic i'll show you how it goes I'm just going to give it a stab. I always find bleed seems to be really good for these uh, things, as well as if you can get like a bleed mod on, that probably will helpful. But the turtles have like this mechanic where they shell up. It can be very annoying because in that mode, they heal. See, here it goes. It's healing. Just got to keep damaging it, getting that yellow bar down. And there we go. He comes straight out of it. Because if you keep him in that yellow state for too long, he will heal all the way back up. So we don't want that there we go there's the turtle down and then we can go ahead chop it up with the knife and you can see lovely turtle shells going into my inventory beautiful turtles are really easy with the knives you just need to be wary uh, but yeah that's how to get some shells if you'd like some locations for elite alligators and elite jaguars here are some on the map right now i'll just show them to you as we go there is plenty over in the jungle area and the mangrove so make sure to check there and all over the map as well honestly there are good spots for either of these bosses but yeah with that you should have all that you need and that is the easiest way to get all the bits and pieces around the place to craft both of these armor sets they're going to be very important mid game so definitely get your hands on some they help you further up the map and all that good stuff all of this stuff is also going to be very useful for upgrades and making stations and even station upgrades and stuff like that for different benches to be able to craft this better armor so you're going to need to delve into it either way and it should be a very useful skill to know and learn as well as that when you're making stuff later on you're going to see it going to take even more very amazing pieces of hide to make certain pieces so that will be difficult you can see boss stuff in there already delicate hide pelt all of that stuff that is just ugh. <laughs> so get on your tannery game and i hope this has helped out with some at least earlier stages of the game armor to help you get kitted out by the way that's enough from me today thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye